Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Lechuga and today we are going to start chapter 5 in our Go Math books, which is two-digit subtraction. Oh, I'm excited. I love subtraction. And we're going to go ahead and begin with lesson 5.1, which is break apart ones to subtract. So here is our essential question for the day. So put on your thinking caps and let's see what we're going to learn today. How does breaking apart, breaking apart a number, hmm, make subtracting easier? Do you remember what breaking apart a number is? Have you ever broken apart a number? I think you have because we have done it with two-digit addition. So by the end of the lesson, you're going to be able to, I can break up numbers to subtract. That's what you're gonna be able to do today. Break up numbers like a ninja in order to subtract. <clears throat> okay, so let's practice breaking apart numbers. Write two add-ins for each sum. So here I have the sum of seven, the sum of nine, and the sum of five. The sum of seven, what two add-ins or how can I break up the seven in two add-ins? Okay, so let's see. Hmm, how can I break up the seven? Hmm, well, I can do one and six. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you're having a hard time with that, you can draw seven little dots and see what ways you can break it apart. So I can do one, and six. Is that the only way that we can break apart the seven? It is not. We can break it up into two and five. Two and five. That's not the only way. There's another way. We can do three and four. That's how we can break up the seven. How do we break up the nine? There's different ways that you can break up the nine. We can do one and eight. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Or we can do two and seven. Is that all? Mm -mm. We can do three and six. So there's different ways in which we can break up a number. Do you remember now? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and start. We're gonna do two steps to subtract, okay? I don't know why, that's how Go Math, Go Math wants it, okay? So, 63 minus seven. This is just one strategy that you can use for subtraction. After the end of the chapter, we will teach you different strategies and you can use the one that helps you the most, okay? So here's the first strategy. We have 63, that's a number 63, and we're gonna take away seven, okay? So let's pretend that we have 63 apples and we're gonna take away seven, okay? So one of the things when we're subtracting is that it's always easier to work with these friendly numbers. These are cool little numbers. 70, 60, and 50. Like if all of the tens, they're really easy to work with, okay? So if we start at 63, I'm gonna put a little dot um, at the 63. So the first thing that I have to do is say, hmm, I'm at 63 apples. How many apples does it take me to get to the 60 from 63? Well, that's easy. From 63 to 60, that's three. So that's super easy. So I can break up this seven into three and something more that when I add something to three is gonna be seven, right? So three, 63 minus three is 60 and minus four more is 56. So you see, we didn't just do 63 minus seven, we did, okay, 63 minus three and then 64 and then 60 minus four. 
I know that was a little bit confusing. Raise your hand if that was a little bit confusing. That was a little bit confusing. It's okay because we're going to try some more examples. Okay? Here we go. So I want to break apart. So there's a big, a big number here and then a smaller number there. Okay? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place a dot on the 41. There's my dot. That's the very first step I have to do. Then I'm going to make this little, um, like little triangle there. So that means that I'm going to have to break up this nine into two numbers, okay? What am I going to break it up into? Okay. Well, I'm already at 41. How many does it take me to get to the 40? Because I always want to work with these super easy numbers, okay? So how many does it take me from 41 to get to 40? It takes me one, okay? So 41 minus one equals 40, okay? So one plus what number is equal nine? How can we break up the nine? One and eight, right? Because eight plus one equals nine. So we already subtracted one, so now that means we need to subtract eight more. Here we go, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my answer is 32. Woohoo! One more. You wanna do one more together because it can get a little bit confusing. Like, well, what did we just do? Okay. So let me erase this first. Okay. Let's write our little dot on the number 53. Here's my little dot. Okay, now I'm gonna do the little triangle underneath the six. All right, so I'm at 53. I wanna get to that friendly 50. How many does it take from 53 to 50? Well, it takes one, two, three. So one of my add-ins for the six to break apart that six is three. Three plus what number is equal six? Three plus three, three plus three. So that means that I have to go back three more because I already went back these three. Now I'm gonna go back three more. One, two, and three. So that is 47. So 53 minus six equals 47. You wanna do one more or no? Let's do one more. Okay, 44 minus seven. I'm gonna put my little dot in the 44. And then I'm gonna do my little triangle. From 44, how many does it take me to get to 40? One, two, three, and four. Yeah? Four plus what equals seven? Four plus three equals seven. So I already subtracted four. Now I'm gonna subtract three more. One, two, and three. And my answer is 37. All right, boys and girls, so that's it. You're going to go on your Go Math. You're gonna log into Think Central. You're gonna click on assignment 5.1 and you are going to apply what you just learned. Okay, I hope you enjoy this math and if you have any questions, you can always reach out to your teacher and we are so happy to help you. Bye, see you soon, stay safe, bye-bye.